family medicine like it used to be, affordable, personal, and looking to the future. On Sun Valley's Athlete of the Week is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Patrick Buchanan, agent. Welcome to the Boardman. Since 1988, the Boardman has been supporting sideways sports with the best selection of snow and skateboards in Idaho. We have a great variety of rental packages of top quality to choose from and so much more. The hottest in snow sports, fashion, a women's boutique, an extensive shoe collection, a kids department, and even bathing suits. The board bin. Fun in the sun, fun in the snow, gifts for the entire family. I'm Michael David with Ion Sun Valley Sports, and it's my good fortune to welcome our Athlete of the Week, Sun Valley Ski Education Foundation, U.S. National Biathlon Development Team member, Max Durchy. Max, congratulations. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. You're a biathlete. Uh, yes. You've been a professional cyclist. You were a member, uh, a cross-country skier at an elite level. How did you get into biathlon? Well, I grew up skiing with Rick Apollo in the Sun Valley program. Yep. Um, middle school through high school through uh, their post-grad program. Right. Um, and during that time, I was also a cyclist. Um, and I eventually pursued a professional cycling career. Okay. Um, raced internationally um, for about five years. So you took a break from cross-country skiing? At I that, did, that yeah. I had raced with Rick's program. Um, I had raced um, over in Europe uh, with the U.S. ski team sort of junior development program. Mm -hmm. um, but I took a break from skiing. I still loved it and still still did it when I could in the winter time. Recreationally, sure. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, and after, after retiring from cycling, um, I was recruited by the U.S. Biathlon program. Right, right. Based out of the Olympic Training Center in Lake Placid. Um, and, and really fell in love with the sport and was fortunate enough to be named to their national team development program. And right, right. Yeah. So biathlon is is a combination of uh, Nordic skiing Correct. and 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 shooting. Explain a little bit about the actual event and and the, and the those two components. Sure. So uh, competitors ski with a rifle on their back. Right. Um, and depending on the race, we either shoot two or four times. Mm -hmm. uh, you shoot prone, which is where you're laying down. The target is about the size of a golf ball. Wow. Um, and and then, how far how far away? It's at 50 meters. Okay. So little bit farther than half of a football field right and then standing you shoot at the target about the size of a CD okay um, and CD for some of those younger viewers it's right. <laughs> like a like a disc like exactly that, yeah right? yeah and so yeah you combine both the the Nordic skiing aspect like you said mm -hmm. um, and then also the precision shooting aspect which makes it a pretty unique sport and what are the lengths of the uh, of the courses that you you ski so the shortest race we do is 10 kilometers for the men, okay. uh, seven and a half kilometers for the women. And the longest race we do is 20 kilometers for the men and 15 kilometers for the women. All right. Do you have a, do you have a preference? Are you better at the sprint? The, I guess, I don't know if you call that a sprint or, but, or right. the longer race. Um, I, I couldn't say I really have a preference. I, every race ha has really unique challenges. Mm -hmm. Um, and I really enjoy kind of taking on each discipline. Right, so. right. And how, how, so it's not who finishes first necessarily. How, how does the scoring with the, how does that right. work? So um, in most races, if you miss a target, you ski a, a penalty loop, which is 150 meters long. It takes about 20 to 25 seconds okay. um, to do. So it, right. it, adds, it adds 20 to 25 seconds onto your time. Um, the one exception is the individual, which is uh, 20 kilometers. You mm -hmm. shoot uh, four times, so four times five shots, so 20 shots. Right. 
Um, and every time you miss a shot, you get a minute added to your time. Okay. So that's okay. that's a that's a really tough race because it's it's not only long, but you know if you miss shots, you you'll just be out of it. Right, right. Now uh, we talked a little bit about this before. Explain your your go go go. Your you know your heart rate's going. Your yeah. your your anaerobically you're going. Right. How do you how do you then compose yourself down to to be able to shoot to, from such with such precision? Yeah, uh, you know psychologically the sport is so challenging and 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 i think it really comes down to your your mental preparation right um i i try to think of it as just having the mindset of a hunter honestly because okay you know whether you're you're skiing fast sort of pursuing you know the guy in front of you you're sort of hunting him down right uh, or whether you're shooting and sort of hunting the target mm -hmm. um that that can remain sort of a a, a constant throughout okay. the right. race that i can focus on right right and you know there are a lot of factors, uh, lighting, wind, precipitation that, that will affect the shooting. So you really have to focus when you're skiing on just doing the best you can on skis. You never know what will happen in the range. Right, right. And then... So when, you're not looking ahead. You're trying not to look ahead. Exactly. That. You're, you, or or put, behind, put you behind you not about what, exactly. how that last one was, right? right? I mean, if, if, you, if you can't let go of a bad shooting instantly, then right. you really don't have a chance. Yeah. 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 Whether you shot well or, or whether you shot poorly, once you leave the range and the rifle's on your back, you know, it's time it's time to be a skier again. Right, so. right. So you um, you were shooting to, to be a member of the Olympic team this year. Yep. You, you just you just missed that. Uh, you know, do these do these people come into the sport with a with a skiing background mm -hmm. most of the time in the in the US or a, a shooting background or what? what? In the United States, uh, most athletes come in with a skiing background. Right. It's pretty common um, for strong cross-country skiers who prefer skate skiing specifically okay. to, to give it a try. Yep. Um, and you know, internationally, it, it's such a big sport, uh, especially in Europe and Scandinavia. Right. Most of those competitors really come in just with a biathlon background. They start at a young age with both the skiing and the shooting. And right. Um, so yeah, in the United States, we're we're still trying to catch up in terms of our younger development pool. But right, there's no high school biathlon Exactly, team yeah, or, it's right. it's not a high school sport, it's not a collegiate sport, Right. so. Yeah, yeah, that, that that's fascinating. So, what, what t tell us a little bit about uh, w one of your inspirations for, for, you know, moving from, you know, you did the cross country, you were cycling, but uh, that brought you to biathlete. Yeah, uh, for me it was, it was a, a really special young man named Willie Neal. Um, he was a, a Nordic ski athlete from Jackson Hole, Wyoming, who skied for the Sun Valley postgraduate team. Okay. Uh, fantastic human being, uh, fantastic athlete, just a really, a really special person. Mm -hmm. um, and towards the end of his cross country career, uh, he transitioned into biathlon, and he spoke really highly of it and said it was a you know had a lot of unique challenges. And um, and unfortunately. Um, Several years ago, he was he was training and he was struck by a, a car and, and killed, um, and um, that was that was a really difficult time I think for the whole Nordic ski community. He was right. such a special young man. Yeah. Um, but his family uh, started an environmental awareness foundation, Willie Neal Environmental Awareness Foundation, and right. and actually they turned out to be my biggest supporters along with my parents uh, when I started to transition and and so I use his rifle now which which means a lot to oh, me cool. um, and uh, yeah he 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 continues to be an inspiration in, in my biathlon career that's fantastic and uh, and you are right in uh, kind of wrapping up this season mm -hmm. uh, despite maybe a, a disappointment of not making the Olympic team uh, how's the season been going yeah, the, the beginning of the season was a, a really big disappointment. My goal was to make the Olympic Games, and I didn't achieve that. Right. And uh, that, was, that was very difficult. Um, honestly, I'm just I'm really blessed, and I'm surrounded by such supportive people and family. So when I found out I, I wasn't going to be going to the Olympics, I actually uh, went home, spent time with my brother and my family, which was really, really special. Uh-huh, right. That sort of... Kind of reset a little. Yeah, it was yeah. a reset, and, and it inspired me to 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 uh, to continue um, and to continue strong and add one of the better second half of the seasons I've ever had. Fantastic. So just wrapped up a, a couple month racing trip in Europe and right. 
had some really some really great times, some good races. Good, um, good. So, one yeah. more big race this season? Exactly. We have our national championships in uh, Soldier Hollow, Utah in a couple of weeks. So. Okay. Well, yeah. great luck. Best of luck in, in that you. competition. Um, we'll be rooting for you. I, we, you know, we want to add your uh, your name to that uh, local Olympian list that is uh, that we have here in, yeah, in our you. community. Uh, it's been great to to talk to you to to learn about this, and uh, you know, maybe we'll have you on someday again uh, as an Olympian. I would like that. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, my guest has been Max Durchy. Uh I want to thank our sponsors for making Athlete of the Week possible. Patrick Pucano, State Farm Insurance. Sun Valley Associates, a tradition of excellence since 1962. Dr. Tom Archie, InterHealth MD, family medicine the way it used to be. The board bin, fun in the sun, fun in the snow. And Zenergy's new studio, Pivot. It's open now, so get out there and check it out. I'm Michael David with Eye on Sun Valley Sports, keeping my eye on Wood River Valley Sports and Wood River Valley Biathletes for you. Eye on Sun Valley, daily local news from beautiful Sun Valley, Idaho.